Hi, welcome to Science Chomp. Today we're going to look at the final part of the thin lens formula where we're going to be working out the object distance. So here's the question. If the focal length of the lens in your camera is two centimeters, at what distance must objects be placed so that a focused image is produced on a piece of film set three centimeters from the lens? Sounds like a tricky question, but it's dead easy. Let's have a look. So the first thing that we do is we write out our formula, one over f, so this is the focal length, this is the object distance, and uh, this is the image distance. One over f is equal to one over p plus one over q. Now we want um, this, the object distance, on its own. So we take this one over q plus one over q over here, and we take it over to the other side, and it becomes minus one over q. So you're eventually left with the formula 1 over f minus 1 over q is equal to 1 over p, like this. The next part is to actually write in the numbers. So let's try that now. It says the focal length of the camera is 2 centimeters. So it's 1 over 2 minus image distance, which is 3 centimeters, which equals 1 over p. OK, the next step is you've got to make these two numbers the same. OK, now the lowest common multiple for two and three is six. So you've got to make both of these into six. So what we do with two to make it into six, we multiply it by three. And of course, you've got to multiply this by three as well. To do this one, to make this into six, you've got to multiply it by two. And of course, if you do it to the denominator, you've got to do it to the numerator as well. So you end up like this. So uh, let's solve this part. So we have 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6, which is equal to 1 over p. So let's work this out. 3 minus 2 is 1. So 1 over 6 is equal to 1 over p. You then cross multiply. 1 times uh, p is equal to 1 times 6, which gives us p is equal to 6 centimeters. Nice and easy. Let me go over what I did from the top. So first of all, you write out your formula. And you have to have this on its own, which means this plus 1 over q, take it to the other side, it becomes minus 1 over q. You then put in the numbers, and you've got to make sure that the denominators are the same. Once you've got that done, you work out 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6 gives you 1 over 6. So the denominator remains the same. You're just subtracting the numerator. And then you cross multiply. Finally, you add the unit, and that would be full marks. Dead easy. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.